Hello. Last week I did not record a reflection because I had this uh, this cold and I barely had a voice. But now I'm feeling better, and as you can notice, I have a voice. And um, so this coming Sunday is Transfiguration Sunday, and uh, I wish almost wish I lost my wo voice this week because transfiguration is not among my favorite uh, Christian holidays I would say and I knew that and interestingly I look into my archives to um, you know I was looking for inspiration and I noticed that I avoid this uh, feast this topic for many years so it was a bit of a surprise, I would say. Well, maybe it is because it's a difficult text to preach on, to be honest. Maybe it is um, because it's associated with the display of uh, power and majesty and triumph in Jesus. That does not really fit with my theology. Maybe because Transfiguration comes back every year, one after the other, and it feels, I don't know. So, for inspiration, uh, I also listened to a podcast uh, that was in the uh, commentator were working on Matthew 17. Uh, and, um, and basically... Um, in Matthew 17, well, you have Peter, uh, James, and John going up to the mountain with Jesus, and then something spectacular happened. Uh, Jesus is transfigured, is full of light, and then Moses and Elijah appeared. Uh, Peter wanted to build a few dwelling places for all, and then God speaks and identified Jesus as a beloved son, and then the disciples fell to the ground. Uh, they were afraid. Uh, I would say yada, 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 we know the story. But what caught my attention, and, and I have to give credit to the people of the podcast, is then Jesus said, get up and don't be afraid. And, and I never noticed that part because I thought it was simply, you know, get up, you, you look stupid and, and, and stop being afraid of God. But I think it also speak of our human nature how um, how when we encounter something special something that we feel uh, unique sacred when we feel that God is truly here we, we feel the presence of the divine uh, often we paralyze we do nothing or it speaks when we go to church for example we tend to be passive. We want to be fed. And rarely we see ourselves as someone active. We know that the presence of the divine, of the sacred, are all around us. And in this moment, the disciple and all of us are reminded that we have a part to play in the story and we have to do something so this story is not just about us and how we experience it and keep it for us but we share it with the world get up and don't be afraid there to get down of the mountain somehow because it's always safer to remain uh, by ourselves, our little group of friends and intimate, and we can, uh, you know, keep it a uh, um, safe environment, you know, contained. We can build dwelling places and beautiful churches for ourselves, for our friends. We can try to stay in this place and repeat. The, the same words, the same action, over and again, hoping that we will recreate this moment of grace. It's like 
too many churches these days that are saying, oh, uh, we have our membership declining, we have uh, aging membership. Well, we need to reach a new generation and we will do exactly the same thing we have done for the last 60 years because we know that it's safe. It used to work, but we know <laughs> if experience taught us something is that we cannot force an experience. We cannot recreate an experience. We can do exactly the same thing, the same day, the same uh, sequence, and it won't be the same. So get up and don't be afraid. Leave the mountain and walk into the world. For many of us, it means to continue our ministries we're doing faithfully, but maybe outside the church of our wall, uh, the, the walls of our churches, sorry, or maybe uh, in a different place at a different time. Reach out the people for who they are and in the way they want to be approached. To share. God's light, God's sacredness with all. Get up. Don't be afraid. That's a powerful message for all of us. Saying it's time sometimes to leave our basement and get into the world. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for being there. Thank you for your message. I really appreciate them. And until next time. I remain the lectionary man, Reverend Stéphane Vermette. Take care of yourself and bye-bye.